welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another image from Small Victories by Joanna Basford. And the image that I picked to do today is this cute little bird right here. I think he, she, he, or she is adorable. <laughs> and we're gonna we're going to color that together using the Tong Fu colored pencils. Now, I do not have um, my little color combination cards made out for this today, but I will show you and tell you what I'm going to be using. And in this one, I'm going to talk you through how I'm going to do each element, and then I'll probably pause and speed the rest up and set it to music like I've been doing, but that way at least you, um, it won't all be sped up and it won't all be just me sitting here telling you what I'm doing over and over. So with that, we will get started and zoom you in some. I don't want to zoom in too much, but there we go. So again, we are going to use the Tong Fu. And my idea for this little guy is the bird's going to be blue and the flowers will be yellow with brown centers to them. Sorry, trying to use one hand to hold the book, one of my arms to hold the book down because um, it wants to close. So the colors that I chose if you can see this, are light dark blue, lake blue, and slight blue. So I'm going to start with the light dark blue. Okay. And go along the outside edge just a little. I don't really want um, the bird to be too dark or too bright, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this light dark blue. <laughs> and mainly use the other colors. I just don't want to go real heavy with the darkest shade. I want him to be a lighter blue bird. to work out where things are and are not. I probably should have done the bird, the actual bird last, but that's okay. We'll just do our best here. I believe that is the bird's head and so is this here. Just like that. And then we'll take the lake blue and we'll go over that and extend it out. And like I said, I'm just using light pressure or may not have said, but I'm saying now. <laughs> Yeah. And you might hear my son in the background. He is playing and having some fun. So, anyway, we're just gonna keep filling this in wherever. There isn't a flower or a leaf. All right. Bring that a little bit more this way.
Sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the slight blue and I'm going to finish filling all of this in. And I may go back and add another layer of all the colors. I'm just going over this and blending these colors together and smoothing it out, getting rid of any white spot that might be there. Um, still not pressing hard though, just going back and forth over it uh, using light layers. our little our bird's little head <laughs> and um, I will be adding a little bit of gel pen to this like for the center of these flowers here I'll use a, a gel pen and for some of the tinier leaves like here and here I'll probably use some glitter gel pen gotta have a little glitter on there somewhere you know so <laughs> all right so for our yellow combination Let me see if my, oops, about to, about to throw a pencil off the desk. Okay. <laughs> uh, wouldn't be me otherwise, right? All right, so see if my pencil sharpener will hold the book down for me. All right, so the yellow combination I put gold yellow, yellow, and lemon yellow, if you can see those names. All right, this is gonna be our flower combination. So, well, for the petals, anyway. So I'm gonna start with the gold yellow. I'll probably start down here since these are bigger. Um, and do these when I speed it up and set it to music. But, so I'll do a few of these down here. So first I'll take the gold yellow, start where it meets the center of the flower. Just put a little bit and feather it out. for these three different flowers here. No, I know Joanna Basford's books, all, you know, they have really great paper in them, really nice paper. I've never had a set of pencils that didn't work beautifully on that paper, but I really am enjoying using these Tong Fu colored pencils in this book. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the yellow. And I, I will be doing a coloring on a budget on these, as well as a couple other sets of pencils that I received for Christmas. 
hopefully those will start to come out very soon. Okay, and lastly, we are going to use our lemon yellow. Also, still have some some more flip through videos I need to get up uh, uploaded of books that I received. I'll be working on that too. I took a little time and um, away from filming. Luna, Luna, stop. Goodness. Luna. Give me one second. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, then for the centers of the flowers, I have pulled dark yellow and wheat. closer. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that was still kind of far away. Okay, so I'm just taking the dark yellow around the outside edge of the center and then filling that in with wheat. Just real simple. Just like that. Another way I like to do the centers of these flowers when they're kind of small, like this, is, um, so I'll start with my dark yellow, and just go along the bottom, start with heavier pressure, and lighten up my pressure towards the top like that. Do that over here as well. But this one I'm going to go kind of from the side at an angle. Like that. And then I'm going to take the wheat and go over all of that and finish filling it in. Just like that. Since I've done all of those, I might as well go ahead and do this center on this one as well. Alright, so I think we'll do this one flower here and then we'll move on to something else. Again with the gold yellow. Again, I will do these two and all of these on the head the same way. And this one, it'll be pretty much the same way. Well, sort of. Well, 
maybe not the same way but similar same colors for sure um so we'll do this one real quick too gold yellow i'm just gonna start where it meets the center and then just fade it out Lastly, the lemon yellow. Okay. And for the center on this one, for these round part, rounder parts, we'll do them like we did the smaller cent centers. And then fill them all in with wheat. Of course, you can always go in and and layer the, that up even more if you feel like that's something you want or need to do. Actually, I am going to add one more in just a second. A little bit darker brown. Okay, I opened it right to the right page earlier. I don't know. Hmm. No. There we go. Alright, so we're using dark yellow. So I want one just a little darker than that. So I think we'll go with the... Black brown. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so I pulled the black brown. Okay, so move this around a little. So we're gonna go along in here with that. And then along in here. Just kind of fade it out a bit. And then the dark yellow. I'm lightly filling that in with that, with the dark yellow, and then I'm going to go over top with the wheat lightly so that it's still darker than above, but 
it still has a little bit of that in there also. So there's that. All right. Now the green, I have two different green combos pulled. So let's see. And they got out of order, I believe. They did. They're killing me. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, they did. So one of them is the light is light olive, dark yellow green, and light yellow green. For these, we'll use them on these leaves over here. This one probably needs a little sharpening, but it'll be okay for now. When I go to pause to speed it up, I will sharpen it. All right. Oof. And then this one, I'll do darker in here. Again, because that leaf is kind of on top of this one a little. And along in here. So we also have that one. Light yellow green. And, no. No. That was dark yellow green. This is light yellow green. My fault. I'm going to do these in that color combination and probably do this in here with that combination and in here and then the rest of them we are going to use. Okay. Dark grass green, pale green, and grass green. And there's not going to be a whole lot of difference with this combination. These colors are pretty close, but going to be a little. And if we need to, we can always throw in a darker color. But. I'm going to do these two with this color combination. The other two with the lines on them, we may do with the combination we used over here. Okay, so now pale green. That and blend it out. And then lastly, the grass green. And just fill all that in. I don't know why I'm doing that. My brush is laying right in front of me. <laughs> Just 
kind of like that. I'm going to take this dark grass green and go back over this just a little and see if it will darken up some. Get just a little bit more contrast. Again, we may add a darker color in later. We'll see. All right, darker screen. And then come down here and do a few of these, and with these, we'll do them the same. These are much smaller, so. Two, that's about it, but. Um, if you decide that, you know, these these are really small. So, if you decide you don't want to use three colors on these, of course, don't do that. Do whatever makes you happy. And then we're going to use grass green. Or, honestly, and fill those in. Just kind of like that. So now, I think, yeah, I think this is where I will pause, and from I'll, I'll do the rest on camera, but I will speed it up and set it to music, and I will see you in a few.
beautiful bird down here um there is one last thing i realized i forgot to do on camera with you before i decided to speed up the rest of it and that is the bird's eye beak feet <laughs> and um this part of the tail i wanted to do with some grays now i have gray and sky gray so for most of this i'm just going to use the gray or maybe not most of it but some of it yeah so um i'm going to take the gray on the tail do like i did with the blue kind of fade it out and where one overlaps the other focus that darker color there just like that and this one I might put a little along there too. All right, so now I'll take the sky gray and go over all of it and blend it all together. And then for the beak. Again, basically the same thing where it meets the bird's head will be the darkest and we'll fade that out and go along that line there and then go over that with the sky gray. Go ahead in and blend it together. And the eye, I'm going to take the gray along this side. And this side. And then I'm going to take the sky gray and just kind of go right there between, like that. And then for the feet, I should have, I had y'all zoomed way too far out. I am so sorry. For the feet, I'm going to take the gray. Actually, I lied a minute ago. I guess I will use both colors on all of it. It's fine. Um, from the where it meets the bird's body down, and then where it meets that part, and go up and leave a space in the middle, and then do the little feet, talons, claws, whatever you want to call them. And do it from one side to the middle and the other side to the middle. Even a space for our sky gray. Alright. So. There we have our, our birdie. And let's see. Out just a hair so you can see him a little better. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did or you enjoy videos like these, please do give me a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel and it also lets me know what which of my videos you're enjoying most. And uh, leave me a comment down below. As well as, if you have not already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, spread joy like glitter, stay safe, and happy coloring. And happy new year, guys. Thank you all. Bye.